All right, we'll do a live upgrade of the SSD and the RAM on this. Currently there is um, 8 gigabyte SS, uh, RAM and 256 gigabyte hard drive. So let's have a look quickly. Okay, so here we go. Samsung. It's a 256 and 8 gigabyte RAM, about 40% being used by Windows 10 by itself without any programs loaded. Okay, so disconnect the charger, put this cover on. Okay, here we go. So we're basically undoing screws, these guys are not coming out, just those ones there. Should be a straightforward process. We're looking for a weak spot. Problem is, these are new systems, and I don't want to cause any marks or damages. I'm wearing stupid gloves. Okay, let me try that again. Okay. There we go. Okay, so just releasing some of the clips at the back will get you access. There we go. Okay, finally. They're all done. So this caters for a, that's the 2230 I believe, and we're going to put 2280, okay. Warranty void sticker, that's not nice is it Lenovo? Okay, we won't have to touch that I think. So what we can do, ideally you want to disconnect the battery if you're not careful, or well, we'll do that just to be safe. Okay, there we go, that's supposed to be thermal, really, okay, because the SSD is right there, okay, alright, 
So we're going to install this Kingston one terabyte. You can install any 2280 NVMe. It's interesting that they put the thermal pad on the bottom. Never thought of that. But we'll do that on the controller. So in my case, that's the controller there. There's actually another slot here. So you can actually have two NVMe SSDs. Wow, really nice. Very nice. Now I do have a problem with this. It's actually bending the SSD. So what I would recommend is having one more thermal pad or maybe instead of one thick one there. Okay. You don't really need to put this thermal pad, but in my case, I would like to. Nobody wants a client coming back to them with a data loss. Their pad seems, seems to be too thick. I'll actually use that on a GPU in the future. Okay. I didn't think I'll be doing this as part of the video. That will do. Okay, that's, that will be the best way. This will be the best way to install an SSD with a thermal pad. That's nice and flush and straight. Okay, in terms of the RAM, let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to install a 8GB DDR4 
and we'll do a mem test after this make sure it's all good So by the looks of it, there is only this edge here, and this edge here too, and that one there. Okay, that's wonderful. Now I do need to clean my hands because of the... Thermal paste that was on the thermal pads. Okay, so, so far so good. We have to see if the system is happy with the changes. So it should go into an operating system found. Maybe we can go into BIOS. We can see all the lights flashing on the keyboard, which is not a good sign generally. Oh, it's okay. So because there was a BIOS reset. Due to battery being removed. And we can see here, Kingston. 1000 gigs, 16 gig RAM. So that upgrade is complete. I'll do a mem test on this and you can watch videos on how to boot from external USBs. But yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.